Loki got captured by the time variant authority and uh, for messing up the timeline. But turns out that his, uh, his sexy variant over here, the female part of him, <laughs> Sylvie, she uh, who was at, <laughs> working at McDonald's right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and loving it. And, and loving <laughs> it, boy. boy. She can't wait to go to work. Shit, she's day. a god flipping hamburgers, man. <laughs> Well, they must have they must have needed that McDonald's deal bad. <laughs> Cause they in there for a minute too. Yeah, yeah, they like, boy, they looking at the menu and said, "Oh, this is good." <laughs> and it wasn't even McDougal's. <laughs> no, it, it, it is Mc, straight up McDonald's. McDonald's. <laughs> she McDonald's is so good, even a god wants to work there. <laughs> We're gonna be at the Broadway Comedy Club again, December eighth. That's a Friday. Gonna be in the Red Room show at 10 p.m. Y'all, even though he's a sociopath that's probably murdered hundreds of people, <laughs> and we've seen it. <laughs> I, like, I still can't get over that scene where he just bit the man over and just took his eyeball out of his skull. But hey, he's cute. <laughs> Loki's back, man. Loki's back. And Loki said, listen, I'm, I'm reformed now, man. I'm a, yeah, I'm a I, better I feel person. bad about all that. Yeah. He's went through a jigsaw trap. Yeah, and that, by the way, I'm not even, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Put you in a trap. What, what is that? Three tonight? So That's far? three tonight. I'm gonna put him in a trap and dare you not to make a jigsaw reference. I'm, 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 I'm only gonna put you in a trap. And you, I'm, gonna make, I'm gonna let you review this, and you better not make one jigsaw reference. If you do, you dead. Live or die. It's your choice. Dead. <laughs> the more more is coming. I'm telling you. <laughs> and then Tobin Bell will show up later in the episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. Yeah, uh, Loki's back, just like Jigsaw. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, my man is back. He's not even the. He's not even a variant. He's the original murderous, crazy ass yeah, villainous right. Loki, man. But he says, "Hey, I'm a better person now, man. You know, I've been through a lot of adventures. I've had my ass beat several times, and now I'm in a place where I'm just confused. I don't know what's mm -hmm. going on. The TVA, the Time Variant, what is it? Uh, 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 authority. 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 authority yeah. Yeah, he's come to the Time Bearing Authority, which is uh, one of the main hubs for this whole multiverse concept that Marvel has going on right now. And now that he's there, it's funny, you know, it's, it, Loki goes everywhere with the worst intentions, and somehow Loki's the only one that can save the day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, hey, man, I was gonna, I was gonna kill you, but we need you, man. <laughs> so this time, I mean, I, I don't, I'm not gonna go into everything that happened in uh, season one. I would just say that. Loki got captured by the time variant authority and uh, for messing up the timeline. But turns out that his uh, his sexy variant over here, the female part of him, <laughs> Sylvie, she uh, who was at, <laughs> working at McDonald's right now. <laughs> yeah. and, and loving it. And, and loving <laughs> it, boy. boy. She can't wait to go to work. She, she's day. a god flipping hamburgers, no, man. No. <laughs> But they must have they must have needed that McDonald's deal bad. <laughs> Cause they in there for a minute too. Yeah, yeah, they like, boy, they looking at the menu and said, oh, this is good. <laughs> and it wasn't even McDougal's. <laughs> no, it, it is straight up McDonald's. McDonald's. <laughs> she, McDonald's is so good, even a god wants to work there. <laughs> but Sylvie's the only before she got her job at McDonald's, she uh she met the person who uh was behind the TVA. He who remains. Uh, actually killed him. You know, if you haven't seen it, you know, sorry, spoilers a little bit. Oh, well. But because of that, she kind of knows how to also save the multiverse or the, or the TVA, which is unraveling right now. And they need to find her and figure out what can they do to keep all these several timelines from being pruned, disappearing, thus basically killing billions of people. Mm -hmm. Also, he, there's corruption in the TVA. Oh, yeah, and they need oh, to yeah. stop that. Well, that's one of the reasons why some of this is going on because of the inside corruption that's happening. But, you know, Billions, billions of people who might die. You know, even Loki can't let that happen, man. <laughs> you know, no, you're like, mm -mm. <laughs> even that's too much for me. Let's go ahead and take a look at the trailer for Loki season two. Always have been, always will be. As it is in his second I'm not to say all this next phase, whatever phase of Marvel that we're in right now. Uh, I don't even, I'm lost now. I don't even know. Well, as it is with this, whatever phase of Marvel that we're in right now in this whole multiverse thing, there's there, there's a lot going on. And for me, maybe maybe too much going on. I, I found myself uh, 
in in this season of Loki, found myself getting lost in a lot of the details in this. And I got it. I'm not, not I'm not saying I didn't understand it. Let me just say that I just didn't find it all interesting, you know, but the show still worked for me. And I'll tell you why, because it's for two main reasons. Uh, one is, you know, first of all, this doesn't feel like a doesn't feel like a typical Marvel superhero show. Not at all. This 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 is a uh, uh, a sci fi time traveling mm -hmm. show. So and that's funny because you're dealing with like you know Loki, the god of mischief, and yet he's in a sci fi show yeah, right now. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought, man, you know what? I really like the feeling of this show. I love the way the 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 TVA still has this 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 old sixties office feel. Well, to the it. the production designer has this whole kind of Wes Anderson aesthetic to you know what she's doing. Oh yeah, no, it's 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 great. The show looks amazing. I could I could just I could just watch the show. I love the retro aesthetic of everything that goes on here, man. Kind of feels like a, in a way, kind of feels like Bioshock. Huh? Uh, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the way it has this retro feel mixed with you know modern science or you know uh, uh, you know futuristic science. Uh, the other thing that I think is really making this show entertaining for me is just watching Owen Wilson and Tom Hiddleston, man. I mean, who would have known that Loki would have like had this great chemistry with the oh wow guy, <laughs> you right, know, right, Lightning right. McQueen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah Lightning McQueen. Yeah, oh, Mo uh, uh, Owen Wilson who plays Mobius here. You know, Agent uh, Mobius. Agent Mobius. You know, it, it, mm -hmm. who pretty much is a desk guy too. You know, he's working at a desk, and that's the other thing. You have a guy who's working with a you know uh, a, an administrative desk guy over here, and I mean, you know, it's it's it, their dynamic is really funny. Mm -hmm. I really it like worked, it. It worked. It worked. Right? In order to do that, I need a Loki who remains. We need to address the fact that you keep disappearing. Well, I, I keep disappearing. We don't have time. <laughs> How does it look? <laughs> <laughs> she got PTSD. <laughs> you know, man, uh, the, the thing that uh, I think really works with them is that they are, they're, they're friends. You know, when you when you see them go on these adventures together, yeah. like they 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 truly are a team. They work together. They care for each other. You know, uh, uh, it's it's very out of character for Loki, but it feels good, man. I think it shows that this character. I don't uh, listen. I, I'm still having trouble getting over this murderous ass character right here. But <laughs> but you know, he's but he's he's you know, you're seeing a character that has advanced, has has grown, has matured, and also you know, it kind of keeps you guessing. Is he is it, he still might be playing people? You know, I don't know. I, I suppose I suppose that could be the case. Um, yeah, man. Uh, listen, with the like I said, with the last season, I, I you know, I, I thought it was OK. Uh, yeah. And yeah. I could see what it was going for. And I thought it was mostly successful. Just it was something about it that wasn't reaching me. Uh, this time around, I am fully in. I am. I am loving yeah. this season. Uh, the, the humor works great. The uh, the adventure, the story, <clears throat> what they're doing. I'm I'm on, on board with it. I, I like. I, I'm a, I really get it, and I I understand the quest. Uh, I love the the new people they've added: Raphael Sandoval and uh, and uh, Kehu Kwan. Uh, those, those are great characters to to add in all this. And then and you know, and the big question of are they bringing Jonathan Majors back? And I'm I'm loving him too. At least this version of him that we've seen so far. Yeah. And who knows? You know what he's going to play later on as as these go. But I'm I'm digging the hell out of it. No, you know I. Yeah, I'm 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 liking the show. I like I said, I don't I don't know if I like it as much as first season. Yeah. And, no, I yeah, and I and I'll and I'll tell yeah. you why. Let me see, yeah, first season was better. Yeah, I think the first season was well, was, we haven't was seen much. the whole scene. We haven't no, seen we the, haven't. We've only seen four episodes. Sorry, y'all. We have four episodes that we've seen. So who knows how this is gonna play out? But right now, for me, it's not as good as the first season. But I still enjoy it, man. And like I said, I'm not having all the seasons. It still makes me wonder, if, you know, what I'm still wondering about the character of Loki, man, because they the last episode that I saw. You know, it looks like they alluded to something that none of us know. And Loki says hey, it's going to all make sense. And yeah. I, don't, look, I don't know what that yeah, means. But, no, you know, I, was, I, don't, I was confused watching all, it, too. <laughs> I don't like when he says that. You know, I don't, that, could mean, that could mean anything. But what I really enjoy about this, though, is that shit, Loki is the, the worst of anybody's worries. I'm, the, I'm sorry, the least. Yeah, He's the least worries. of anybody's yeah. worries, especially the TVAs, man. There's a lot of dissension going on within the TVA. And they got plenty of characters who are turning villainous, man, who just being <laughs> assholes. Oh, yeah. And some, man, listen, the... I was very, very, extremely surprised by one character. They end up just being a complete piece of shit. Ooh, and, no. and I, well, I can't say because, yeah, I can't you know. Say, but yeah, yeah, I know. No, but, but no, one character, I was like, holy shit, you are, yeah. you? 
I love everybody. Yeah. What? No. I, was, I, was, I liked you. I liked you a lot. Okay. Well, yeah. that's what you get. No, no, that's exactly what I get. And I'm talking about shitty. Yeah. I mean, listen, they, they do, as uh, by the time you get to the fourth episode, they do some f***ed up things in here, man. Mm -hmm. They ma they mass murder people. Now, this is a Disney show, so they don't show it. <laughs> yeah, well, but no. even just alluding to it, yeah. they mass murder people in horrible ways, man, in this in this show right here, man. And they have one person who's just looking at the whole time, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was like, this is messed up, man. Uh, you know, it's, and I, it's very interesting to see where these dissenting and villainous characters are going to go. Some of them get wrapped up by the fourth episode, but some still go on. I'm, th I'm thinking, all right, you know, that, that person's still out there. This gonna, that is not good. This will lead to bigger things. Well, it's, it, that gives you that feeling of maybe somebody else is going to turn who I'm not it, yeah. it's, uh, suspecting. Yeah. yeah, no, that is true. That is true. I like that the, the, the TVA is in chaos right now. That It really is divided. You know, between uh, allegiances, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, you know, it's almost like a civil war is about to happen with them. So it's, a, it's some interesting concepts are happening, man. Uh, you mentioned Jonathan Majors. I say, man, Jonathan right. Majors. Uh, when he comes in. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it's it's too bad. We don't know what's up with him, man. Uh, you know, I still don't because, you know, we still don't know what's going to happen with him in his case and Marvel's going to use him. Uh, and I, I'll be honest with you, I still don't know what to think about him being set up as the next big villain. You know, he's supposed to be, uh, uh, what is it, King and the Conqueror, King. yeah. I'll say, this <clears throat> is the best variant I've seen of him so far, at least acting wise. Yeah, looking like Frederick Douglass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Performance-wise, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. performance yeah, yeah. that's yeah. the best. Yeah, yeah, he plays an eccentric inventor in this one right here. I, you listen, I, I, I don't know if it's my favorite because it's, 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 it's very hammy, you know. It is, what it he's is. doing here. I mean, I I, I would probably pain. say my, my favorite. I mean, you know, as much as I don't like Ant Man three, I loved him in Ant Man. Yeah, yeah, he's the best part of Ant Man. I agree, yeah. dude. That's my favorite. Mm -hmm. This one right here, he hams it up a lot, man. You know, and it's and it's almost the, the character verges on comedic silliness in a way. In fact, the episode that I saw him in, the, you know, the third the third one, I think is kind of that one is is a little bit too silly for me. But not nothing I hated, anything like that. It was just a bunch of slapstick kind of going on. Uh, but you know, I'm. I still like Jonathan Majors, and oh, yeah, I'm, he's killing it. Uh, you know, I'm, and, I'm, and he's still having fun with it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you still, yeah. it's not like you don't enjoy watching him, no, right? Yeah. Because he's still a great actor, and he's still having fun with this, and he's still a lot of fun to watch. I just don't know about this character anymore because if they tell you this, man, the you know, the show falls victim to you know everything else in this phase, as I said, man. You know, this multiverse uh, concept just feels like it's going everywhere and nowhere at, at the same time. For me, even with the multiverse right here, it still feels a little bit too much. And I'm, I, 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 at this point, I don't even want them to like, I don't even want them this, this to be connected to anything. You right, know? right. Because it's too confusing. The thing about, <laughs> listen, the thing about the, 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 that first phase of Marvel, man, it was a big ass purple asshole who, you know, he, he <laughs> wanted, here. he wanted, he wanted a glove. He, he wanted a power, a power glove and some rings, and he was going to snap and get rid of half of the the universe so that you know we could be more manageable. You know, and I, it was that simple. You know, I don't know what the fuck is happening now. I yeah, don't know yeah. what's going on, and this is kind of tied into that. But this is, I man, I think, I think that this is uh, uh, some of those things still apply to the show for me. But I think it's still fun though. Like I said, I'm watching it not for the, the, those details. Hmm. I'm watching it for all the. The look of the show, the performances. Mm -hmm. I'm watching it for you know some of the fun parts in here, and it's, there are some fun, fun, fun storytelling. A lot of it, like I say, has to do with the villains, man. I like the superhero stuff. After a while, man, that stuff doesn't feel as character driven any, anymore. This True. this is very character driven, very much right? so. I, I, and I like that. And speaking of character driven, man, I like your boy. I'm glad, but old short round. Yes. Yeah, yeah. K Huai Kwan. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, man. He's he listen, he's, he's killing it. Yes. Man, he is perfect as the TVA gadget guy. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad they're not wasting him. You know, yeah. he's actually a main part of the show. No, he's great. And yeah, he keeps coming back, makes numeral, uh, numerous uh, appearances. He plays big a uh, big role here, like you said. Yeah, yeah man. I, I'm I'm in I'm listen, I might not like it as much as the first one, but as you said, we're only halfway through. What is it, six episodes? Four, it's six, yeah. Okay, so, okay, so, okay, so we're, more than, we're more than halfway through. Yeah, so two episodes left. Uh, I'm enjoying it so far. I like it. Uh, I still think it's uh, one of their better shows. I agree. Mm, yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> uh, no, no. Every everything you said, I think it's one of their better shows. And yeah, I, this time around, I'm liking it more than the first season. Mm. Yeah. What would you give it? I give it full price. Okay. What about yeah, you? Yeah, I'm with you guys, man. I'm enjoying the show a lot. Uh, man, Loki, Morbius, their relationship. I think it's just picking off. It's just picking back off of where it was last season. Man, these episodes, it's like every episode, the stake kind of increases. And, it, and in, 
the way it ends, it's like you're begging to watch the next episode. Like, I, I want to see the next episode instantly. You're, you're so right about that. Because so often with these, I was like, well, I'll watch one tonight and I'll yeah. think of it later. Yeah. And I get finished one. I was like, I got to watch, watch the next one. one. Yeah, yeah, I was the same way. I was watching at work and I was like, you know, I'll watch the rest when I get home. And I was like, as soon as the first episode ended, I was like, nah, let me see the second mm -hmm. episode. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm up there with you guys. Man. I'm giving it a full price. Well, he hasn't given his. Another thing I think it has going for it, unlike a lot of the Marvel shows, is that they've been longer than thirty minutes. Mm -hmm. yeah. that, that thirty minutes makes a feel makes a show feel so inconsequential. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know some shows can do it, like Barry can pack in so much in thirty minutes, mm. you, you, it feels like more. But you know, not every show is Barry, and most shows <laughs> need. They need about 45 minutes to really yeah. give you something to chew on. Yeah. So, no, I, that, I, a, so the fact these episodes are like 45 minutes or an right, hour yeah. Yeah, makes I them agree. better. And can I say, I like Miss Minutes in this too. Like they're giving her a lot more personality. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> no, Miss Minutes is uh, is one of my, y'all saw Miss Minutes here. There she is. Yeah, yeah clock. Cool. Yeah. You know, I, I thought she was, uh, she was one of the characters I was looking forward to whenever she get on the screen. I think, you know, they have given her a lot more to do here. Uh, yeah. I, you know, I am going to give this a high, very high matinee. Like I said, I, I'm just, I think it's a little convoluted for me now. You know, uh, this multiverse thing. That's not why you watch it, really. I mean, everybody's watching it just to watch, you know, this bromance with, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, Mobius and, uh, and Loki and, Loki and uh, you know, and Tom Hiddleston is great in this, man. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, no. Listen, the thing, Tom Hiddleston was, when he was playing Loki, Loki was just kind of a one note character at one time. He brought a little weight to it because Tom Hiddleston's a great actor, uh -huh. but the character, there was not a whole lot. Sure. Uh, Loki is a whole lot more fleshed out here, man. Oh, yeah. A lot, yeah. A whole, We're and, spending more time with him. Yeah. And, and Tom Hiddleston does a great job with this version of Loki. Uh, I really like, uh, yeah, I really like Tom Hiddleston in this, man. Uh, and that's why I'm watching it. I'm watching it, you know, for, again, a lot of the performances they have here. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's a really hot matinee. But I don't, you know, Kind of step down from you guys. It's marginal. Yeah, you know, they say full price. I'm like, you know, it's watch it. It's a good show.